Hello and welcome back to Elm Creek. Well, as we said before, we have got quite a lot to do and not a lot of money to do it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get a worker working on the oats. That's what we need in is oats. I'm not sure that they've got enough seed, which is a bit of a pain because all my seed is down at the, uh, the dealership. Well, we'll see how far they get anyway. I, as it happens, need to head down to the dealership. I need to get some equipment for mowing, tedding, windrowing, and baling. But well, first of all, mowers. These two here are the cheapest combination. I think we'll have to go for those. Oh, didn't want to press combinations, wanted details. Yep, we're going to be going for these. Uh, as we're going to be making silage to start with, don't really need a tether, but we do need a windrower. But most importantly, we need a baler and a wrap, a bale wrapper. So this one will do both. But it's 78,000. These will also do both. And they do the bigger bales as well. I'm sure we need the bigger bales straight away. But yeah, 78,000 is a lot. We are going to have to get a loan. Let's get uh, Tedder and Windrow with the money we got, and we'll get a loan out for the... Oh, look, these are new ones. New ones with a premium expansion and the hay and forage pack, uh, which is the wider of the two. This one here. Boundary spreading system. Ah, uh, yes, I, I remember using that in... Uh, uh, oh, what was the name of the map that Giants brought out with a premium expansion? Nope, completely gone out of my head. Oh, well, <laughs> I have used it. Um, and a windrower. So, I do like this one. And that takes us down to £7,000, which is going to get chewed up quite quickly by the worker. So, uh, let's say I need 80000 for the bailer. We might as well get 80000 as a loan. We can pick up, we can buy the bailer as well. Take this one. Oil colour white, that is fine. And there we go. So let's go down and pick up the first load of implements, the mowers. We could come back and start mowing the field straight away. It'd be really good if we could go and pick up the um, the seeds at the same time. Why is the uh, frame rate just dropped suddenly? Oh no, back up again now. How weird. Yeah, I think we might have to pick up the seed at the same time. How quickly is he chewing through seed? Mm, not super fast. Fast enough that he won't have enough, I think. But not super, super fast. Right. Well, we have all the equipment now for making silage. And that's going to have to be something that generates us a lot of money because now we've got an £80,000 debt and no money to get cows <laughs> oh I like doing things difficult right I'm going to pick up the mowers and we're going to go and mow the grass field Ah, so, 
not actually fully grown yet. It is able to be cut. But I think we want to leave it. until April so it can fully grow so I will get the other bit brought back to the farm and the seed because I think Chappy here is going to need it and then we'll finish off the oats move forward into April and then cut the grass There's very little for me to do now apart from wait for these fields to be planted or seeded. I might as well do the work, save a bit of money on workers, and I'll carry on and get this done. Then, obviously, after we've moved into April, we will be working hard on the grass field, get some bales done and wrapped shouldn't take too long it is a minute field in comparison to some of the fields that uh, are in this but I'm hoping it's going to give us a fairly good yield and therefore a good number of bales so that we can uh, start to make back money to pay off the loan and towards getting the cows and I know it's not going to be super quick or super easy but it's got to happen it's got to happen right I shall catch up with you after we have completed this field we have got two fields of oats seeded and ready to germinate which is absolutely fantastic that's income in both income and bales in both right let's drop cedar down here uh, I don't think I need this tractor at the moment although what would be good is to get this field back up and running as grass again I think let's sell the greenhouse not going to get much back for it anyway um, uh, we're going to have to do some painting I think especially over these bits Painting. Yes, we want grass back down here, don't we? There. There. Hopefully it's not going to cost a fortune. Um, then we'll need to plant some grass back as well. 
Uh, right, meadow grass. Yeah, let's just stick that in at the edge here. And down here. And then I think, in terms of painting, we don't want animal mud. No, we don't want any of this stuff, really. I wonder if we can just cultivate this back up. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, might as well use this tractor. And then we'll have a look and see if we can cultivate. I think all of this is still classed as... Oh, crikey. I think all of this is still classed as field as well, so I should be able to use a worker on it. Oh, I wonder if I need to plough it. It might need ploughing. Potentially. Ted could do with standing up right as well. Oh dear, I've gone the wrong way round. I thought this was pointing the other way. Okay. Let's get the plow on. And we'll get it ploughed. Because at the same time, it probably does need it. And then we can go cut the grass while a worker is working on this. Let's just make sure that we haven't got it set to allow create fields. We have not, so that is cracking. Just a little test. Ah, uh, no, we are going to have to allow create fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to head around the edge of the field and then the worker can carry on Oh dear. Get it as square as we possibly can. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be tricky I think but as long as the worker keeps within these boundaries that we're setting it's not going to be a problem obviously if he carries on across there and down the road we're going to have a bit more of an issue Feeling like this line doesn't need to allow create fields, so we won't, just in case. Much better. However, up this side we will need to create field because we've got that sort of concretey muddy surface there. Where the greenhouse once stood. Weird. Why is it not? Ah, oh, because it's that spilling over from the next bit in line. That's why. Right. Now we need to put allow create fields back on, and we can get this little bit done too. Right. Let's put this on a worker, and we'll stick with it. While we make sure he's doing the right thing. No field found. H how is no field found? Oh, of course, because these bits aren't field. Right. We're going to have to quickly carve up these bits. And then we can put the, the worker on.
Right, there we go. Right, if I set a worker off here, now without allow create fields on, they should just work their way across the field and opening up to the edges, which would be wonderful. And we can go and get on with the mowing. Trusting that the, uh, the field has fully grown by now. It may not have done. In fact, it looks the same. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's still March. Of course it looks the same. Here, look. Right. They can carry on working, and we need to sleep. <sighs> Sometimes I really do surprise myself with my own stupidity. Right, that's better. April. The oats have germinated. The worker's still going. All the way through the night she worked. But she hasn't got very far. Oh, crikey, I've missed the bridge. And the grass has grown. Fantastic. That looks much more like a fully grown piece of grass. Piece of grass? Crop of grass. It's a crop, isn't it? Sure, why not? Field of grass. Why not? Oh my gosh. My brain is not working accurately today. Okay, let's get this picked up. There we are. Is that picked up? That's picked up. Right, we'll get them fired up. Nope. That one, there. And then I'll get them lowered. And we can start cutting. That's cracking. Excellent. Great stuff. So, hopefully this is going to yield really, really rather well. I am going to cut, row, and bale in one time lapse, and then we can have a look and see how much we've got. go i did not expect that many bales to be perfectly honest i'd say we've done really really well really really rather well there those bales can sit there and ferment we shall take our unit back over this way first thing next time i'm going to be getting grass seed into our this field through here We've turned back into a field again instead of a, a yard. And we can start to spray the, uh, the oats as well. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.